Steve Bannon has predicted that Trump will be sentenced to years in prison. Former White House Chief, uh, Chief Strategist Steve Bannon delivered a major speech at Turning Point this week. This is from Valuetainment, by the way, Patrick Bet David's uh, outlet, who does phenomenal work. Um, they're going to sentence, he's warning they're going to sentence Donald Trump to multiple years in prison. However, he also predicted Trump will ultimately prevail and be inaugurated in January 2025. And Charlie Kirk echoing those concerns. He said, be ready for a July surprise. Very possible they pull Biden out of the race, that is, and sentence Trump to prison on July 11th. The entire race could be just about to change. Watch closely which Democrats Democrats get the ruling class treatment in the coming weeks. If they pull Biden, is Kamala the replacement? Whitmer, Shapiro, Newsom? Be ready. Something is coming, something big. Well, I saved this for last, so we do Australian stories first, then UK, then the US, because US is just, I, I, it's nuts. It's like a movie, what's going on there. I mean... A Disney movie? <laughs> we're Sorry. Getting, we're getting Disney later. Um, this is, like, this is shocking. I mean, July 11th's around the corner. Mm. We could see a situation where, you know, he get, he ends up getting sentenced. Oh, I totally... Look, w what's happening in America is perhaps one of the biggest travesties of any liberal democracy in the world, and that is this, is that we have stood for freedom, um, freedom of elections all over the world. Well, that's been the image. And here we are, one of the very countries that purports to represent and prepare to fight for that is now engaging in perhaps one of the most heinous forms of it. And I think that's where the greatest pity from a, from an external perceptual point is, is that when we look at it from the outside, and I lived there for a number of years, and it was never like this. It was, you know, fair fight. Well, that's the way it was. Because in America, it's all about the dollars. And mm. um, maybe not so much the fair fight is perhaps the wrong term because it's all about dollars over there. 2000 election, Roger Stone leads a group of angry Republicans to stop the vote of the hanging chads for Al Gore. Mm. We've kind of been here for 20 years. 1968 Democratic uh, Convention, where they split into two different parties over the Southern strategy, race politics, Jim Crow, all of those mm. kind of things. Um, teapot Dome scandal, 1910s. Politics is never particularly clean. We've got, we had these rosy glasses. It was like, oh, it was all much easier. We still had huge divides but we had fewer of them. Mm. Now they seem to be on so many different fronts. And indeed, it is pretty rare that we're sentencing presidents to jail. Well, what we didn't do is attack political... That, that's exactly right. And I, I actually think that Trump is probably one of the biggest threats to the deep state, and that's why it's actually happening. I mean, you've got whatever you want to call them, cabal, deep state, WEF, whoever they are. Intelligence community. Yeah, that too. Um, the three-lettered agencies, yeah, all them. Mm. Well, he is. He, the reason he is who he is is because he, he calls it the way he sees it. And that's where that authenticity comes from. Mm. Well, which president took no money, no, no wage? There has never, in history, I, I don't know of any other presidents, prime ministers who decided not to take a wage. Not, I mean, really, Albo? Mm. Um, I'm challenging you. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry. No, I'm Chris. just guessing yeah. Theodore Roosevelt may not have. He certainly appealed on these kind of... Because that was he, the, the trust antitrust breakups. But let me hand that. We'll have to yeah. look it up. Look, yeah, I, I certainly hope nothing does happen to Trump. I think that what he's done, he's been... I, I look, the way I see it, and uh, he's being stitched up. That's just my, my personal opinion. Um, yeah. But I, I think America will grow greatly if he comes back into the White House and totally. you'll see the world turn, you will see geopolitics turn on its head and they don't want that. That's right. It, it was interesting because I interviewed Clay Clark, who's um, he's mates with Trump's son, and I asked him about Biden and I said, well, how, how are we going to have a debate between Trump and Biden on CNN? I mean, the man can't, Biden can't string a sentence together. Don't you think that perhaps somebody will substitute him? And he was like, no, 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 it'll never happen. But I just don't see how Biden can run. Yeah, like He can't absolutely. even walk. How is he going to run? Yeah, I, I, look, I, I think it's going to be crazy moving forward. And we just got this news from um, CNN actually made the point that, uh, yeah, they're, they're going to be 